Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you uh, how I'm soldering the fuse wire to these lithium ion cells to make a, a 36 volt and 40 amp hour battery pack. It's a 10S16P and I'll have two of these in series to get 72 volts for an electric motorcycle. So the first thing you want to have is safety. I've got a full face shield here because these things are known to explode and you're not really supposed to be soldering them. But, you know, spot welders are expensive, and I don't have one. I'm in the process of making one out of a car battery, but uh, that's a story for another video. So anyways, the first thing I'm going to do is take this bus bar, put it along the middle of my little series row, start tacking it in place with some hot glue. Try to get it right in the middle of the cells. You can see that I've already uh, done the initial solder point on all the battery cells and I did a strength test on them by prying at them with a flathead screwdriver just to make sure none of them have a <coughs> A cold weld where they'll come undone you know if they get hit or shocked in a certain way since this will be on a motorcycle and I'll probably be riding some trails I wanted to make sure that everything was as strong as it could possibly be for this build so I've also been strength testing all the fuse wire uh, connections by probing them with a little piece of uh, metal making sure they can hold up to the stress of being pulled at so that they don't come undone when I when I really need them to work. And I'm putting hot glue basically on every joint of these hexagonal connectors. All right, and that should be strong enough to keep it in place. And then, of course, the fuse wire being soldered on will uh, also keep it tethered down just in case it ever got hot enough to melt that glue from running so many amps through it. So I'm going to take uh, clean off my iron real quick just to get some old solder off. Get a little spot of solder. Do it right there at the end. Make sure it's nice and fused with that copper. <clears throat> I've got this 30 AWG fuse wire. So I'm going to solder that in place. Where I just did that joint on the bus bar. And now the fun part. Take this, uh, this is my metal probe here. It's just a little pin with a handle. I'll take that and make, uh, I'll press that down because the solder melted the glue a little bit. So I'm going to take that and make it like a V shape. So I'm going to have two fuses on every battery, which makes this like the equivalent of 27 AWG uh, bus bar wire. And that means it has a fusing amperage of about 17 amps after 10 seconds so it should be pretty low resistance to get me a good 
you know, very low amount of voltage drop and heat dissipated throughout the entire pack, uh, but it's still strong enough that uh, it can withstand, you know, all the forces that will act on it, and it will should do what I need it to do. So I'm just crisscrossing this bus bar wire across the uh, the bus bar itself. I guess I can call it fuse wire now because it's using these cells. Oh, let me get that back up. I'm just kind of tapping the welds that I've already done. Making sure the point of the V is sitting right on that solder joint I've made on these cells. Kind of inspecting it to make sure it's got a good uh, weld to the fuse wire. Kind of pressing the fuse wire with my hand. I'm just kind of visually inspecting it to make sure it looks good and strong, and I'll go back through and check it all with the probe once I finish this row. And uh, so normally I go all the way down and do all the cells that way, and then I go back through with solder and solder the connection at the bus bar. I'll just show you that, you know, since I want this to be an abbreviated video, you don't really need to see me do the whole thing, because it'll take me longer than you'd want to watch. Oh yeah, and have a fan running, I totally forgot about that part, because uh, solder fumes are toxic, so you want to stay healthy, you want to be making batteries for, for many years, so... That's basically how I'm doing it, and I uh, hope this helps you, and if you like this kind of content, I'll be making it for a while while I keep making this motorcycle build, so give me a subscribe and a like on the video, and if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to read them in the comments below, and uh, that's all I got for now, so thanks you guys, and I'll see you next time.